And if this view model has many dependencies as well, it, it depends on a loader. And this loader, as you said, it, it has a remote implementation that will talk to a backend API. So it needs also an HTTP client. If you create your own dependency here in the view, you will have to couple this view with everything. So if you create your own object, it needs to be a state object because you manage its lifetime. But then you need to know how to create all its dependencies. The view model needs what? A loader, which is a remote uh, loader. How was this remote loader? And it needs a client. You need to know how to create a client. What is the client? URL session. Yes, URL session HTTP client. Oops. <laughs> what is? Is not behaving. But I think the, the URL session HTTP client right now lives inside the shared API. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you start bringing a bunch of modules into this view. And that's why one of the recommendations when you have this problem where you, you're dealing with a view model has has many dependencies, you don't want the view mod the view creating its own view model. Does you pass it as a dependency? Don't create it. You expect someone else to create it for you. And since you're not creating and managing your own dependency, it needs to be an observed object. If you don't create your own dependency and manage its lifetime, it needs to be an observed object. Someone else will manage its lifetime and pass it to you. Okay. So that's why you would, if it's just like a simple view model that just manages the state that is contained within this view model, Mm -hmm. then you can be a state object and you create your own view model. But if it has dependencies, volatile dependencies like the network, like URL session or Alamo Fire, then you would want someone else to create a dependency for you and inject in. So both approaches are valid depending on what you're trying to achieve. So be careful when you get advice on the internet, advice that is absolute. You should never do that. You should never do that. Well, <laughs> it depends. It depends what you're trying to achieve. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I, uh, yeah, that's a, that answers a lot of questions. In this case, I think that's the way to go. Observe object and someone else injected the dependency for you. 